humbleness, humility, you know, how they're different, how they how they're relevant to our lives, and because it is an issue in some cases, how we should address that issue. So let's start by defining self-deprecation. Self-deprecation is the act of belittling or undervaluing oneself. And sometimes it's used to be humorous, it's, it's a tool to be humorous. For example, like you like telling a story that you, know, you fell yesterday, you like kind of like undervalue yourself, like <coughs> you seem like you're kind of silly, clumsy, and sometimes it's funny, and sometimes it's a good tool. Um, and oftentimes it's confused with humility, because <coughs> humility is also like putting yourself down. Uh, but then we'll talk about that today. So it's an issue because some people take it too far, take self-deprecation too far. Um, when they're trying to be humble, they try to they do self-deprecate them too so self-deprecate themselves too much. And also people use it so that uh, when you when you have people have high expectations of you and then you don't meet those expectations, that really hurts your confidence and like lack of free mental health. Some people think self-deprecating yourself saying that you're not good, saying that you're getting the expectations not high to like prevent that from happening. But then that itself, that, that itself could be damaging to your mental health as well. Uh, if someone praises you, like say someone says, like, oh, you look good today, and then you, you really don't believe it, and you're like, oh, I don't know, it's a lie, there's no way that's true. That may be an extreme case of self -defense. Accepting the fact that you are an ordinary human being. 
Self-abasement is the negative form of self-deprecation, and it is the state of self-inflicted criticism, voluntary degradation of oneself because of feelings of inferior authority. It is a false defensive measure. An example is, um, you play the piano well. Humility would be, thank you, that's very kind of you. I'm not the best, but I've been playing for years and hope you get better. That's a positive, optimistic response. While a response that's self-abasement would be, oh, I'm really not that good. I've played in years. There are tons of people better than I am. I said it often. Okay, so now I'm gonna analyze how, why do we act like this? So why do we, when we re, uh, when we reply to the compliments, why are we self-abasing? So as I witness myself going through such a process, I, um, I examine my mental process and I come up with these two. Um, possible reason for acting like this. Um, first one is, um, when we are um, receiving compliments, we are flattered. So naturally, we want, we feel uneasy, and want, we want to dismiss that. This is really obvious and natural. Uh, it comes to us very naturally. And second one is, in kind of embodies our culture. Um, we, as a part of Asian culture, we don't feel very safe when we are recognized as outstanding. And it is called doctrine of mean in English and kind of zhong yu zhi da in Chinese. So um, with those possible, um, well, those re possible reasons, um, that has an underlying implication um, that would be as um, self-abasing ourselves, we said, oh, we're not the best, we're not that good. There are tons of people better than us. And that has an underlying implication that we don't deserve those compliments and because we are not the best. We're not the best of the best. So such um, as we say it out loud, this underlying implication, we will find it's so wrong, it's so obviously wrong. But this kind of implication is not said out loud. It's like, it has roots, it grows in our subconscious. So um, in the long run, it will uh, it will, it's detrimental to our mental health. But also, it is socially disadvantageous, especially when we enter a community with multi-cultures, um, when, like, when we self abasing ourselves, um, the American culture would think, that as a representation of we lack of self-confidence. So that puts us in the disadvantages of uh, condition by self reasons. So every problem, every problem can contribute to it. If you're feeling you're suffering from the self-deprecation, just don't feel discouraged. Always keep the bigger picture in mind, and you should never feel bad about your awesomeness. And actually, understanding the difference between humility and self-deprecation can definitely help you to get a sense of integrity. Because sometimes you, just, um, you should let the results speak for themselves. I mean, what you did is evidence. Um, in terms of different explanation and interpretation on your own, you can never dismiss, uh, dismiss all of the achievements you have ever accomplished. So just let the results speak for themselves. And the other really important thing is that you should pay far less attention to others' expectations I mean, disappointments and um, failures and kind of stuff never goes away. Sometimes you just have to accept the presence of all those disappointments, the, um, the failures, which will pay back for future success. And what others thinking, uh, what other things is not actually the most important things. And sometimes other people is not actually expecting too much from us. Um, so we should actually pay far less attention to others. And the most important solution to the problems is actually do the things that make you really proud. So in terms of playing the piano, I have been playing piano for like 10 years. But when my, when my father used to ask me to play some sort of like piano performance for his colleagues, for friends, I just like turned away. And I said things all the time that I can't. I haven't been practicing for like two years because I was too busy. I came up with all kinds of excuses for not going to do this. But now, I just made a step. Um, I step out of my comfort zone. I just try. I try to play public, for the public. Now, I'm playing the piano at the University Hospital. And someday, someone just like stop by and say thank you. And more and more people start to say your music made my day. And even when someone tipped me, I mean, I really love some money, but <laughs> that is not the point. I mean, <laughs> um, that's not the point. I mean, what it means that when people said things like, your music made my day, and that actually made my day, because 
I did the things that I uh, that truly makes me feel proud. And once you make the first step, everything's going to be fine in the future. Um, it takes only less than two months for an adult to pick up a new habit. So if you keep reminding of yourself now to feel self-deprecated, if you keep reminding yourself every day that you are actually awesome, if you keep reminding yourself that all of this, all of the failure and disappointment you're experiencing now will pick the path for future success, you will feel much better in less than two months. So for I always said, you know, the difference between humility, humble self-deprecation, self-abasement, uh, difference in cultures. Next time you receive a praise, you know, ask yourself, and, and then you think of like the response. Ask yourself, is this just being humble or is this like self-abasement?